What up guys, Adrian from E-Motorcycle. In today's video, we're gonna be doing an oil change on this bike, the Suzuki Boulevard S40, Suzuki Savage 650, Suzuki LS 650, whatever you wanna call it, here's how to change the oil and filter. So we'll start with what we need. Two liters of 10W40 motorcycle specific oil, one KN137 oil filter, five millimeter wrench to access where the oil filter goes, and a 14 millimeter wrench to get the drain plug off. The last thing you want is a oil drain pan that is low profile. I'll link to all this stuff in the description box underneath the video so that you can slide this underneath your motorcycle to catch all your oil and not make a mess. Now, before we get started, there are a few things that we're gonna wanna do. You're gonna wanna let the bike run for five minutes. This makes the oil nice and hot, makes it more viscous, so it's gonna flow out of your bike a lot faster. After that, you can let it sit for three minutes just to cool down a little bit. The last thing we're gonna do before we get started, I always open up the drain cap first, just to make sure that it's not seized in there or stuck in there or broken, because if it's broken now, we can still ride it to the shop, but if it's broken, we've drained the oil out, we gotta tow it in. All right, so the drain plug's a little bit hard to show, but here it is. First step. Oh, Jesus. So again, be careful here, because the oil might be hot. And you can check the drain plug and Washer, make sure your washer is straight, not worn, or you can just replace it if it shows any signs of wear. Likewise, you should wipe it all up and you should look for any things that might indicate that there's metal bits from damage within your motor. This one here is looking pretty clean, but we'll clean it up before we put it back in. Step two is gonna to be to remove and replace the oil filter. So we're gonna get our five mil. That is a lot of oil spill. So things to look out for, apparently it's gonna spill over your pipes. You wanna make sure that this spring is still in there. Try to keep the inside clean. And there's your old filter. Now pay close attention because I almost made a mistake. This little O-ring right here, don't throw that out. Clean that up, make sure it's okay, make sure it's nice and lubed, and then you're gonna to wanna to put it back over there. While you're here, grab a rag, clean up the pipes. Any spill in the pipes might make a little bit of smoking the next time you're out on a ride. Don't worry too much about that. Clean up the inside of there, get all that old oil out. Any gook or grime that could get in the way of a good seal, make sure that you clean that all off too. Make sure this ring is still okay and isn't damaged. And if it is, you can order it up from Suzuki. It's only a few dollars. Then it's time for us to pop open our Canon oil filter. Now these do go two different ways. So you're gonna make sure that the any goes here. And you can just kind of press that in place a little bit. Now there's another video on YouTube where they do it the opposite way. They take the oil filter off first and then they put it back in there and then all that old oil just goes down to your drain plug and can't get out. So always leave the drain plug open. While the drain plug is still open, start putting this back together. So any old oil still in there is still gonna drain out of your drain plug and not just end up with old oil mixing with your brand new oil. And you're kind of going to want to do this evenly, a few turns at each bolt. And I'll put what the torque specification is up on the screen. Now this part's optional. If you have a torque wrench, you can set your torque to, I believe it's six to eight Newton meters, and you can tighten these to spec. A torque wrench is great for beginners because it allows you to tighten a bolt no more or no less than what you specify it to. That way you don't over tighten, which could damage your motor or under tighten, which could cause a leak. Torque wrench is a great tool to have for when you're first getting started. So that click tells us that we're there. So listen carefully. That click, we're done. You can double check everything. Perfect, perfect, perfect. And I'll link to all of the torque wrenches and other special tools that I use in the description box under this video. They're like 30 bucks, so if it's your first time wrenching on your bike, for good peace of mind, $30 for a wrench you can use the rest of your life is a no-brainer. Step three is pretty simple. We are gonna replace the oil drain plug. To make my life a little bit easier, I'm just gonna stand this bike upright. The first few threads are definitely the hardest. Just try and go at it straight. If you're going at it from diagonally below, it's gonna be hard. 
So the torque spec here is between 12 to 18 Newton meters. It's going to be damn near impossible to fit a torque wrench in this little space here. So I recommend snug, but not tight. Good enough. And again, you don't want to go too tight or you'll damage the motor. And you don't want to go too loose or you'll have a leak. All right, step four, grab a clean funnel and line it up. Make sure it's not going to fall loose and make a mess. Brand new sealed bottle and pour two liters in. Leave that in there while I open up the next one. Keep this for your old oil. Looks a lot better than what came out of it. And step five is check the oil level. You got a little oil window right here. There's going to be a marking for a lower limit and a marking for an upper limit. I'll try and post a picture to show you guys what I mean. You want your oil level to be in between the lower limit and the upper limit. If it's too high, open up the drain plug, little bit, little bit of oil out. If it's too low, pour a little bit more oil in. All right, so doing your own oil change on this bike really isn't that hard. Uh, if you guys found this video helpful, which I hope you did, please hit the like button. It helps YouTube algorithm know that you find this helpful, that other people might want to watch it. I would appreciate that. Thank you guys so much for your support. Uh, if you want to see other videos, I will link to some other maintenance videos that I have on the Boulevard S40 right around here. Um, I'll also make a playlist. So if you subscribe to my channel, look for that. You'll see all the videos I've done on this bike. As always, thank you guys for watching. Ride safe. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below. Or if you just want to say thank you, that always means the world to me. Thank you guys. Ride safe. Peace.